Now we go to the Division II Finals, and these were held at Houseman Field in Grand Rapids. We'll start with the boys this time, and in the 1600 meter run, Austin Sargent of Cedar Springs came in the favorite. He did not disappoint. With a time of 4.15, beats John Sutler of Byron Center by three seconds, though Byron Center finished third overall as a team. In the 400 meter relay, it was a great East versus West matchup. Zealand West, Danny Bowder battling Orchard Lake St. Mary's anchor Ross Moore. Olsum able to edge this one out by just seven tenths of a second. In the 100 meter dash, Auburn Hills Avondale's Joshua Holloman came ready to fly. In the middle of your screen, the Division I football recruit is going to win this race. He also captured the 200, and AHA finishes runner-up as a team. But once again, the boys' champion came from the west side of the state. In the 300-meter hurdles, Zeeland West, Jason Tran is neck and neck with Nate Cotier of Allendale, but an unfortunate trip knocks Cotier out of contention. Tran cruises to the win, and Zeeland West claims the Division II boys' state title. Now for the girls, and let's check out some high jump action. Charlie Andrews of Battle Creek, Harper Creek clears five feet seven inches, and there is a state individual title for the freshman. To the 1600 meter run, Remus Chippewa Hills runner Megan O'Neill trying to chase down St. John's Kerrigan Smith, but no way you're gonna catch her as Smith sets a new MHSAA D2 finals record. Now it's the four x four relay and this one was hotly contested from start to finish. Lansing Waverly's Shante Roberts out racing Dearborn Divine Childs, Elena Iquaniello to the finish line. Waverly are your team runners up. And the reason this is a team sport as well as individual is that you don't have to win to be victorious. Spring Lake's Carolyn Artiga will capture the 800 meters, but O'Neill once again finishes second, and Remus Chippewa Hills wins the state team title without a first place finish. <laughs> 